Hey right. everyone, here we are, um, back for another expert guide. Now the expert is going to be much easier to walk through than the pro. So one of the things that you'll see, I use top spin on this tee shot. It gets me out well beyond these trees on the right, so I'll have a clean look at the pin here. So what I'll typically do, I'll typically go back spin here, brings in a little bit more control, lets me land just a little bit longer. You get something in the neighborhood of about full power here for the shot. And you can see with about how much wind I'm playing. So other than that, I'll just try to groove this in as straight as possible. It looks like I was a little bit light and I actually came in just a little bit short. Surprised by that. So already off to a bad start here. As you can see that I essentially butchered the... Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? Must have uh, not done something right there. I thought it said 30 something feet. Maybe I was, uh, you know what? I think I, I kind of underestimated that. So it was probably my fault. So let's go back in here. Even if I would have made it, I wouldn't have got a three star campaign because I missed the green. I pulled that second shot to the right because I wasn't straight through enough with my swing. This goes to show you how touchy this game can be. It's a little bit, you know, it's pretty realistic with, you know, how straight through you need to be. So here you can see the wind is way down, um, but the pin is very tucked. So typically 15 yards may not be enough. Um, you know, 15 to 20, somewhere in there. It looks like I'm about 11. Um, I do have a little bit of a tailwind, so let's just go with it. Um, we are hitting a slice here. Oh, wow. So I did it again. I did it again. Just not very good shot. And again, as you can see, we are coming up just a little bit short. Even if I make this, like I said, I'm pretty sure, you know, it's it's not good enough to get through this campaign. So you, you do need to avoid the stupid mess. Ah, I cannot believe that didn't catch the edge there. So I just missed the cup. Good enough for one star again. I'm really butchering this. Half tempted to just quit out. Jeez. So with the tailwind, I think, you know, I won't need the uh, top spin here. I'm going to stop playing this like such an idiot. Because I'm really just playing that too tight over there. And I'm going to stop doing that. Here you can see it's 17 up now with the tailwind. This should be plenty to get there. I think it's something about this. And I'm going to just be a little bit more exacting. As you can see, I've been kind of rushing through these a little bit. So I, I'm going to just kind of take my time a little bit more. And get just a little bit more dialed. And as you can see, much better results. As you can see, um, you know, this isn't a game that you can play lazy. And you can see that's more or less what I was doing the very first couple times. I'm just like, well, it's probably straight enough. And as you can see, as a result, um, you know, how much actually ends up suffering. So let me just go through one more time because I kind of played it like a turd twice. So this way we'll at least have two decent attempts in here. Off the tee, it really doesn't matter. You know, I can just kind of put it out there. Um, if you don't have the wind, you know, definitely use your top spin. If you have a shorter driver, definitely use your top spin no matter what. With 10 yards, you know, it's it's not quite enough, but the pin here is back far enough that I could essentially just take the backspin ball off. So I can play this through just a little bit differently. You get something along the lines of this. With 10 yards down, um, you know, I'm probably going to want to come in just a little bit. That looks pretty good. Get something along the lines of that. And let's see if I can... Let's try to grind this through a little bit. 97, and as you can see, it just rolls barely through. So a 96 would have been perfect. And just a little bit more wind play, because that did feel like a kind of perfect push through. However, as you can see, green fairways and greens, it gives you enough points to earn three stars either way. So it should be good to go. Good luck there. I'll see you on two.